Guys, ah, gun, no gun lie, is really uh, picking up fastly, and I feel like that was always a thing with this show, is that it was going much more quicker than, uh, than most shows, even though it had 12 episodes, I feel like there was literal no break really in between. Um, and it definitely feels like this was the first time Guns, No Guns Life actually has taken what I would consider a break in the case of uh, building story narrative, putting out more information about the characters, and just overall having us in a position where we know a lot more about, you know, just weird stuff that occurs in the background, unlike a lot of shows where the background just is the background this kind of feels like as if we're gonna learn a little bit more about the ridiculous things people kind of do or get away with and we saw that right so this guy who had worked for the security for some time of the government winds up taking the eyeballs out of the lens of the cameras that can use uh, x-ray vision and pretty much just follows Juso around because, excuse me, for some odd reason, Juso gets all the girls. So, if you aren't following him around, you don't know where any of the ladies are. And clearly this guy knew where all the ladies are, especially the ones that he said was pathetic and was not worth even using his eyes on. Uh, being Mary, which most people... We're seeing Mary on the end credit song, and they're like, oh yeah, I, I definitely want to watch this show now, and if he saw it, Mary on the end credit show, he'd be like, man, this show sucks. <laughs> um, so it's just funny to me, the complete opposite polarizing feeling that he had of the, op uh, the opposite from the audience that I was looking at, who was checking out this show. So that kind of had me dead. Um, but yeah, this episode was so self-contained. It was crazy to see because nothing really went forward of giving us new information of, you know, like, why certain things are happening or what we're going to do about the people that were supposedly, you know, taken away. And we still haven't heard much from them besides the little bit that we got last week's episode. And now at the end of this week's episode, it almost was a full-blown, self-contained, weird episode. But then with one of the people showing up that's supposed to uh, supposedly work together with these people that have abducted them. Which makes sense. I mean, I'm pretty sure if he doesn't work with them, it's probably going to be one of those situations where they're just going to take out the person that he came with. So there's always another... A hostage that has no use to these people that you know because they want the harmony or at least they want the harmony to work at its maximum potential so they can use it uh, against Shuzo it seems like this next week coming up so everything that we were getting somehow is still you know like help build a narrative of where the story is about to go but like I said it definitely felt like this could have been a full-blown self-contained episode which is really cool to see in this uh in this series because it didn't have that feeling at first like it didn't even seem like that would, could be one of the ways they wanted to go about having the show in my opinion and now it's like oh they could have done that if they really want to if they don't end up doing it is just have these really wacky and zany characters come around and kind of showcase their prowess and then get you know ultimately taken out <laughs> and handled uh soundly so i'm not sure where this show is going to go i know that they have this kid trying to work with them so he can use the harmony to unlock juzo's real form or true true form so we'll have to see what that is all about other than that i 
definitely I'm just interested in the show as a whole. I want to know why certain things have taken place. Why is there different sides of these different uh, corporations and where all of this is going at the end of the day because I honestly think something oh my god I'm so close to that I honestly think we're about to get something pretty cool and I'm just not sure exactly how it's going to play out 100% and you if y'all been watching me for a while you know that's right up my alley it is stuff I don't know what's gonna happen and me getting to pretty much guess and talk to y'all about it so I definitely can't wait to see what pops off in the show and what people end up enjoying and whatnot because as of right now I'm super close to dead so I'm just running away from everybody. <laughs> oh I found the treasure chest there it is um oh baby I just look forward to getting more and if this show does end up ending and doesn't finish with the, like a conclusion to the story in this season I won't be mad because I appreciate the show quite a bit so getting to see all of this take place and pop off knowing that there could be another season if they don't handle everything or if a new threat pops up I'm for it I'm all for it so I'll have to see what you all are saying in the comments if you do enjoy this or not let me know or if you are just showing up to watch the boys videos to show them some support show me support I duly duly uh, appreciate it so thank you for that if not and you're just clicking around and you found my video thanks for clicking and I hope you enjoyed some one piece in the background and with Metawom coming out to Jump Force soon you know your boy gotta get back on there and actually play on that with that character cause that's a sick character and I just got bobbed <laughs> Holy crap, my kid is not maxed out, so yeah, that would happen. Alright everybody, have an awesome day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. Let me know what you're thinking about this show. Let me know if you are looking forward to any other shows that are on the Haranda. And I will definitely talk to you in the next one. So with that being said, peace.